Hello, boys and girls. I'm going to share with you today this book about Lent because we are in the middle of the season of Lent. It is called Make Room, A Child's Guide to Lent and Easter by Laura Allery, pictures by Anne Boyajan. Isn't that a pretty picture on the front? Maybe you've seen some birds and some eggs nest while you've been home. If you see some, send me a picture. I'd love to see them. Making time. Long ago, Jesus went out alone into the desert to get ready. Deep inside, he felt that God had important work for him to do, but he needed help to see clearly the way ahead. For 40 days and 40 nights, he was in the desert by himself, wondering, talking with God, listening, making choices. I wonder why Jesus went into the desert. Maybe because it was quiet and still. Maybe Jesus thought he could hear God better there. Maybe he needed to make time to listen so he would know which way to go. During Lent, we make time to be with God. Every day we talk with God in different ways. Sometimes we pray with words. Sometimes we sing and listen to music. Sometimes we get out paints and crayons and create many colored prayers. Colors are like a different language. We can all speak even when we have no words. God understands. At other times, we make silence. We might turn off the television, turn off the music, and stop talking for a while. Then we practice listening. Sometimes we read stories from the Bible, and we wonder about what God might be telling us. Sometimes we just sit and rest in the quiet. During Lent, we pay attention to how we live. We think about the choices that we make every day and we ask ourselves hard questions. Does what we say and do make the world a better place or not? Does how we live make God happy or not? Is there anything we need to change? Lent lasts for 40 days and 40 nights plus six Sundays. We count the days by snuffing out purple candles one day for each week. 40 days is a long time, but it takes time to get ready. After Jesus came back from the desert, he left everything behind. Trusting God to give him what he needed, he began to travel from place to place, telling everyone who would listen about God and the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the world, the way God imagined it in the very beginning, the way God wants it to be. That is the kingdom of God. The people were full of questions. What is the kingdom of God? Where is the kingdom of God? How do we get to the kingdom of God? Jesus told them, the kingdom of God is like a tiny mustard seed that grows into a great big, huge plant. Kind of like maybe the plant behind me. It is big and strong enough so that birds can build their nests in it. The kingdom of God is like a pinch of yeast, which is what makes bread grow. You stir it into a big mixing bowl of flour. It's only a speck, but it makes a big batch of dough. The kingdom of God is inside you, but it needs time and space to grow. This is how we make space. If you have done something wrong, tell God you are sorry. Sweep your heart clean and start fresh. Be kind to all people, not just the ones who like you. 
open your heart wide. If someone hurts you, ask God to help you forgive. Do not store up angry thoughts, but let them go. Make space inside for better things. Share so that everyone has enough. Give one, if you have two coats, give one to someone who has none. Why clutter up your life with more than you can use? Make space for what really matters. One day, when his friends wanted to learn how to talk with God, Jesus taught them to pray this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. When we pray for the kingdom of God to come, we are telling God what we hope for. We hope that people everywhere will listen for God and live the way God wants and make space for what really matters. Imagine, during Lent, we make space. We clean our whole house. We sort our clothes and toys and books, and we give away what we do not use. It might be hard at first. Like, I really like my things and I want to keep them all. But then I think someone might could use these things more than I do. Besides, I like having a clean and organized space. During Lent, we think about the kingdom of God. We plant seeds and wait for them to sprout. We mix yeast into water and flour and watch the dough rise. When the dough is risen, we roll it and twist it to make pretzels. They look like little arms crossed in prayer. At supper, we cross our arms this way and pray that the kingdom of God will come. I wonder how this will happen. Maybe the kingdom of God starts very small, but it grows bigger and bigger. So slowly we hardly notice. Maybe the kingdom of God happens right around us. Maybe, boys and girls, the kingdom of God is happening right now. I wonder, how is the kingdom of God happening right now? During Lent, we make our lives more simple. We eat plain meals, sometimes just bread and soup. Everyone helps with the cooking. We even give up buying some of our favorite treats and snacks. Instead, we put the money in a jar and save it. When Lent is over, we will buy groceries for the food bank. Making do with less means that someone else can have enough. That seems fair. I like to have nice things. I like to buy treats, and I like to eat my favorite foods, but not all at the same time. There are times for filling up and times for emptying out. Lent is a time for emptying, for sharing, for giving away. It is good to make space. How are you making space in your home during Lent? Wherever Jesus went, people wanted to be near him. Some were sick and hoped that Jesus could make them better. Some had questions and hoped that Jesus could give them answers. Some felt dirty because they had done bad things. They hoped Jesus could make them clean. Some were hungry and they wanted food. Some were lonely and wanted company. Some were angry at the unfairness of the world and they hoped Jesus could set things right. So many people needed so many things. Sometimes Jesus got very tired. But friends, Jesus never turned anyone away. His friends, the disciples, worried about him. They shooed away the children. They tried to send the crowds home. 
But Jesus said, let them come. Everyone is welcome. The kingdom of God is like a great feast. All kinds of people will come to it from every place and time. Some people did not like the way Jesus made room. Look at him, they said. He chooses the wrong friends. He should know better. He cannot be a good man if he spends time with bad people. But Jesus, he didn't care. He kept inviting people in. Through what he said and what he did, he sent this message. We can always make the circle bigger. There is room around God's table. During Lent, we make room. We invite a neighbor to our house to share our soup. We make cards and decorate them, then send them to people who are sad or sick or alone. We try hard to see people the way that Jesus saw them. After church on Sunday, when we have juice and cookies, lots of friends stand together in tight little circles. A few strangers stand alone by the wall. I wonder how we can make room for them. Maybe I can start by smiling and saying hello. I think Jesus would like that. Boys and girls, I want you to think about ways during this time that we are to stay away from people, how we can make room for others. If you would like to write or draw a picture and send it to someone in our church, we would love for you to do that. And I can give your mommy and daddy some names and addresses of people. Think of other ways that you can do. Perhaps when you're outside, just wave to a neighbor, even if you don't know them. Maybe you could drop off a gift at a neighbor's house or a friend's house, or call your friend on the phone and talk to them if you miss them. Let people know that you love them and you care for them. Let's make sure this Lent that we make room for the kingdom of God. Thank you for joining me. Take care.